Hello everyone. I just wanted to share this remote controlled snowmobile project I've been working on. I believe it's getting close to uh, complete and wanted to show what I have. So here here it is. This is the fairly finished model. I've uh, still been kind of prototyping things so a little things will change here and there but um, it has full uh, A-arm suspension up front that uh, actually works quite well. The design was uh, re to require as few purchased parts as possible so I've made into the A-arms so that they uh, pivot on their own. They don't, you don't need to buy like a special ball joint or anything to go into that. Um, and then of course this, the ski with its pivot We've got uh, front headlights that fit in here. You don't have to do it, but it's uh, it's set up and so that it's quite easy to add headlights. The front bumper there, which I already broke this piece, but uh, changes have been made that should prevent that. But front bumper prints separate so that you can print that in a different color if you prefer. Uh, let's see. The uh, handlebars are printed in a flexible material to prevent them from breaking if you roll the sled. And uh, let's see, then we've got our track under here, which prints really nice and easy. Um, I've got it just held together. All of my pins that hold it together are just pieces of filament that are cut to go inside there, but um, if you're building your own and you feel that the filament isn't going to be strong enough for you, um, you could certainly use like some stainless steel wire in there as well. I've got some bearings that help certain things roll. Um, bearing here that's just kind of a guide for the track. There's bearings that live in this wheel, these wheels back here, and then there's bearings as part of the transmission. But in the sense of trying to keep everything super simple um, you use only one size of bearing throughout the entire machine and there's a total of nine bearings that are used um, then as well with the suspension um, the sp suspension works quite well <clears throat> with these uh, these I believe are 80 millimeter shocks and there's three of them used throughout the build there's this one and then the two um, front suspension one so I found those pretty cheap in a four pack and you use three of them and so that works out quite well and then there's this one smaller shock up front and I found a cheap two pack of those and I don't remember the size right off the top of my head but I'll be sure to make a note of that um, it's also set up so that you can have um, tail lights and then they just run through here and then they go down inside and they come up through the seat and inside here. Now I've set it up for the um, hood here with just your gas cap. There's a slot here to, to give you an indication of which way it's pointing and when it points sideways that hood comes free. And that gives you access to everything inside the machine. So here you can see just using a uh, standard 540 uh, size motor. That was just the cheapest one I could find um, on Amazon. I think it was like $24. And it's actually been working really well. You got your standard sized servo mounted here um, for your steering. Right now I've got um, this speed controller stuffed in there. That's actually an aircraft speed controller. It only has forward, um, but I've I've got some car speed controllers on their way so that I can test different fitment as well. Quite a bit of room to stick a battery down in there, or this whole side over here is open as well. And if you wanted to put your battery down inside there, and uh, that's about it. So really. All it takes to uh, to build this, you're going to need um, 
your electronics, so you'll need a motor, a speed controller, and a receiver, and then that servo. Then you're going to need the um, three large shocks and one small shock. You'll need nine of those <clears throat> bearings, like these here, and I'll make sure to note the size of those. And then you'll just need a large, um, just an assortment of M3 screws, and then even with that, I believe I've, I've only used nuts in a couple places. Um, so really you, you only need screws and then you'll need a couple nuts in some of the more important spots. But there it is. Um, it's been a blast. I, I've, done, I've been through quite a few versions of it so far trying to work things out and find the weak spots and now I'm just waiting for snow. Um, but uh, so far out on my lawn it's uh, been doing fantastic and I'm excited to let everyone else have the opportunity to build one if they if they like <laughs>